This video is about the basic sterilization equipment most commonly used, top loading autoclave. We're going to discuss its working principle, parts, directions to use, and potential hazards. This autoclave works on the principle of moist heat sterilization. High pressure inside the chamber increases the temperature of water to generate steam for the sterilization of instruments. The higher pressure also ensures rapid penetration of heat inside the drum to sterilize. The moisture present in the steam causes coagulation of proteins of microbes, causing irreversible loss of their activity and functions. The parts of top loading autoclave are safety valve, pressure gauge, pressure regulating device, lid, lid handle, body of autoclave, body handle, steam releasing valve, rotary timer and black steel stand. To open the autoclave, turn the lid anti-clockwise. As you feel the unlock, lift the lid up. This is the stainless steel drum. Inside the autoclave, there is a stand for the stainless steel drum and the heating element. First, place the stand inside the chamber. Now submerge the chamber with distilled water. Then keep the instrument inside the green cloth. And then place the green cloth inside the drum. And place it inside the autoclave chamber. Before closing the lid, make sure that the steam releasing valve is open. Make sure that the rubber gasket is not damaged from anywhere and is tightly sealed. Now for closing the lid, turn the lid in clockwise direction. Now close the steam releasing valve. Now connect this cord with the socket of heating element. Now connect the power cord. Now set the rotary timer. Now check on the pressure gauge, it has come to zero. Now remove the lid by turning it anti-clockwise. Now the instruments are sterilized and ready to use. Sterilization is a method indispensable in a dental clinic, so is an autoclave. But carelessness or mishandling could lead to accident or unpleasant experiences. Worst of them all could be a blast or explosion of the autoclave. A few things if kept in mind could avoid such accidents. Explosion may occur when the lid is not sealed properly or the rubber gasket is old or damaged. Ensure the pressure regulating device is working fine to stabilize the pressure inside and also monitor the pressure gauge. The pressure and the heat inside the chamber might rise and escape rapidly if not balanced, causing an explosion which could prove fatal. Few other hazards are Burn hazard Be cautious of hot surfaces when loading and unloading autoclave. Recently autoclave contents inside will be extremely hot Make sure to keep your face, body, hands away from the escaping heat and steam when opening the lid of an autoclave. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching.